Good morning, Wayfam mm -hmm. from Bath, England. I'm Ashley, this is Josh, welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So be sure to subscribe down below, give us a like, and hit that bell so you can follow more of our adventures. Let's go. As I mentioned today, we are in Bath, England. If you haven't seen our video yesterday where we did the actual Bath spas at Therma Spa, you'll have to watch that. But yeah. today is, well, it's, it's not as nice and sunny, so we're just gonna enjoy, we're gonna be cozy. Fall day. Exactly. So, we've brought along an expert in England. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> <laughs> this is Jody. She uh -huh. actually lives here in England. Yes. She uh, runs a YouTube channel called the Jody's, Jody's Expat, Expat Life. Life. Mm -hmm. um, and she's lived in three different countries here in Europe, including England. So today we get to hang out with her and explore Bath. But I actually plan on yeah. eating, drinking, and exploring Bath today. So we're going to take you with us. <laughs> and it's been a long time coming because we've been talking to Jody for several years now. Yeah. She was one of the people that we watched originally when we started vlogging. Yeah. So it's really interesting to finally be able to meet her and to hang out. And yeah. I told you, I told you guys that you were going to fly past me and Oh, I was right, I knew it. I knew you guys were just that If you good. just make videos every single day, people want more Jody. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. It is. So we are starting at Picnic Coffee. They have locally sourced food. We're gonna have soup and fresh bread and pastries and some delicious warm, something warm to drink um, to get started. Always so dainty. <laughs> I can count on you. It's also dainty. <laughs> All right, we finished up at picnic. I almost just fell over there. And yeah, it was delicious. We had some lunch um, here in Bath and in England. It is known to be rainy and get a little chilly outside. So the options of cafes and restaurants is just crazy. Like you could go to a different cafe and restaurant maybe once every day for a year and never go back to the same one. So yeah, that today we're only showing you three of them. But when you come here, there are tons of options and you can just look up blogs online. Um, maybe this vlog will help you find the best cafe that will fit you. Thankfully today is bright and sunny um, while well, the clouds have parted. So we are headed to the uh, Bath Cathedral here. Let's check that out before we visit some more cafes, <laughs> I'm sure. city in the center right now we are right next to the Roman baths um, which is a museum of the old Roman baths that were used to be here and then we are also going to check out the cathedral which is right behind me as well the cathedral you can walk in for free I believe but the baths um, the museum you have to pay to go through and we're choosing not to do that today but if you come to the city I do suggest doing it because it is definitely one of the top things to do while visiting Bath. Wow, your English accent has really improved. <laughs> Thank you. You just need to read out a bit of this. Cheers, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Pringle lady. So a donation is suggested. Four, four pounds was the suggestion, and they give you a little pamphlet with some information on it, and you can just come in and look at the Bath Abbey, is what it's called, and it's beautiful. Thank you. 
just left the Abbey, but it was the cutest in there. There was a man who was walking around. He gave us some information, which was really fun to learn a little bit more about the Abbey. Interesting thing about Bath here is that there are a lot of hospitals around, like old hospitals. They're not hospitals anymore, but a lot of people came here, which we learned yesterday, for the healing powers of the baths, for of the um, water coming up out of the ground, the springs. Um, turns out that a lot of people still died here because they came here with their ailments. Inside this church, there are a lot of plaques along the wall of people's names and their pretty much obituaries um, put up there by their families. The guy inside was saying maybe it was like um, a showing of wealth or um, just people would put them up there and then their actual bodies are in the ground of the church. He said it's layers deep, but um, yeah, they're still there. It's super interesting and you're walking on top of these tombstones. Tombstones. <laughs> Tombstone. What's on your tombstone? <laughs> That's American commercial. Anybody know it? Cafe number two, we've come to Society Cafe. This cafe comes strongly recommended by our friend Laura, who has been here before. She said it's amazing, one of her favorite cafes she's ever been to. So we've decided to get coffee and a little sweet treat. I got a mocha, Josh got a flat white. He got a banana bread with caramel, which looks amazing. But the one thing that I wanted to get while here is something called a flapjack. Yesterday Josh and I t told you guys about it that um, we ordered this thinking it was going to come as a pancake because we in America call pancakes flapjacks sometimes. Um, this was not what we were expected, expecting but it's pretty much a granola bar I guess in a way. Um, they have them everywhere. It's a very common thing and you can find them in all the cafes. quaint this place is. This, this is just part of Bath. You're just walking along. They have tours here. They have shops built on the bridge. Yes, but people just live here. They just exist here. Sure, Bath is touristic, but man, it is well worth the visit. We 
have made it to the third and last final cafe of the day. It is more a tea house actually. It's called Sally Lunds and it is the oldest house still here in Bath from like original Bath times. Like I think 1400s, like 1482 yeah. I think. Yeah, so that is pretty cool. And Sally Lund has this bun that she's famous for. It's like a brioche bun. And then there's also this other bun called the bath bun that's like a sweet bun. So we're gonna try those both out inside or try. There might be a line, so we'll see if we can get in there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Sally Lunn, she used to work at this bakehouse and she brought the idea of baking with eggs and butter and making these huge buns from learning in France um, how to make brioche buns. And so that's what we're going to eat today. Um, what they do here at the this tea house is that you can purchase one of the buns and they always give you half of it. So they gave Jody the top half and us the bottom half. This is the bottom half of one bun. It is giant. Um, Josh and I got lemon curd on ours, and Jody got cinnamon. There's cinnamon butter. It looks delicious. You can order tea with it. Um, the fun thing is that supposedly in the 1800s, the recipe was lost, and nobody knew what the secret recipe was, but supposedly with the deed of this house, um, the person who purchased it found the old recipe in one of the his cupboards in like a hidden little place in the 1900s, and now that's what they use to make these buns. Hard to cut. <laughs> it's a lot of bread. Mm. 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 It's like lemon meringue pie. Don't smile. You have to tell the staff. No. <laughs> This is a lot. I'm glad we're sharing. <laughs> All right, we had an amazing day in Bath. It was really fun to have Jody along with us. Yep. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was fun. It was it was a beautiful day out. It started a little blustery in the morning, as is typical UK weather, but it cleared up around two and got downright warm at some time. So it was really fun to go out. Yeah. Actually, bought a jacket in anticipation of the next rainstorm. Yep, I can't wait to wear it. Um, but in our next video, we are headed to Wales. <laughs> I don't know what the town's called, but... I thought she did. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're going to go glamping mm -hmm. in Wales. So I can't with wait to share that with you. some other YouTube friends who we have had on the channel before. Mm -hmm. Kingnet. So uh, we get to go in their backyard. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't already, make sure to check out Jody's channel, Jody's Expat Life. Mm -hmm. And Wayfam, I hope mm -hmm. we encouraged you to get out there and travel today. Come to Bath. We really enjoyed our time here. We really did. And we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.